hello, welcome to Meals with Maria. Today I'm gonna to show you what I'm panic buying because I am a little nervous about food costs, food shortages this summer. I have feelings about um, where we might end up and I get food anxiety. <laughs> That's my thing. And we actually, we have lots of food in the house, but I worry that we're gonna go through it and that things are gonna be like, you can buy this or you can buy this or that there won't be something that I need. So I wanna make sure there's lots of food for my family. That's something that's very important to me. So I'm getting a little nervous and I've been doing some grocery hauls, picking some things up, still trying to buy clearance items, still trying to buy, find the best deals, um, but getting a little bit extra of some stuff. So I wanna show you two, actually almost three, um, grocery hauls that I did in the last few weeks and the things that I decided to stock up on I'm not going crazy by any means and I don't really have like a methodology, but I'm trying to buy some more of some things and I figured I would take you guys along with me and show you that I'm just a typical person who sometimes get a little anxiety about what we're buying and this is the road that I'm going down and it's not perfect and I'm not like one of those people with like the stockpile and the food storage and you know, maybe I should be, but I'm just doing what feels right. So here it is. So here's what I got on my mini panic buy excursion today. I really just needed chicken thighs. And then I was like, well, mm, I should stock up on this and that because you never know what's gonna be at the store in the next few days. <laughs> and I was, I was just worried about it. Luckily they had everything I asked for, so maybe I'm, I'm panicking out of, uh, just for no reason, but I just I figured let's stock up on what we can stock up on. So I got some more strawberries. Julian's been going through these like crazy. So these were $2.99. I got three packages of string cheese because they already went through the other packages that I bought. So the kids are just like plowing through these lately, which is fine. And these are gonna last a long time too. So if I needed to, I could always put them in the freezer or just check the expiration date. I think uh, they're good till the middle of August. I could buy a lot of these if I wanted to and I'm, I'm thinking about it because I'm thinking prices are going to go up. Why am I not just stocking up now? Like what if I bought everything for the next year? It's just a thought and if you can do it then maybe you should. I got 10 bananas, super oh, green. Here. I already have some bananas so this is good just for backup back stock on the bananas. I got three of these sweet potatoes. I'm really trying to buy like, I don't know, three of everything. I didn't need these but I thought Hey, let's get them while I can get them and put them in the freezer because I have space right now. I got two of these sweet peas, same thing. Didn't necessarily need them, but the kids love peas. So that's a nice, healthy choice. These are a nice, healthy choice too. We've got cottage cheese. I bought three of them and they're all good till about May. And I was thinking about using some of this as like a ricotta alternative and something. So we'll see. But either way, these are good breakfasts and snacks. I got some cheddar cheese cubes again. These will be good till the middle of July, so you never have too many of those, and they're also good snacks. Three of these heat and serve sausage links. These were such a big hit this weekend. Uh, my six-year-old absolutely loves them, and I figured maybe I can try and get him to eat eggs and sausage during the week, even though he usually does like a really healthy oatmeal. This is still a good alternative. We got two things of this mild cheddar organic slices because we've just been going through that like like crazy too. Chicken thighs. This is what I said. I needed these. I'm finishing up a video, which I think will already have come out on chicken thighs. And like silly me, look at that price. $1.59 a pound. Don't pay that. That was like, that's a dumb like business thing for me. Like I should have, should have bought them when they were on sale for, I believe the lowest price I've seen lately was 69 cents a pound. So I should have got that. We've got white potatoes i got a 10 pound bag that's just to stock up so that we have you know filler items two bags of these two potatoes because we already went through the ones from last week and a uh, huge fan tommy loved them so i'm trying to do a lot of more um, things with less like processed stuff for my six-year-old because i think he might have some food sensitivities so i'm, I'm trying to stay away from artificial flavors synthetic colors all that stuff so that's why i'm buying stuff like this I wanted to try these roasted garlic and herb pretzels because I tried the grain-free ones last week and they're actually pretty good. They're really crunchy though, but I thought that this flavor looked good. So I got a couple bags of those. I got three 12 packs of free range eggs because I said I get eggs all the time. And we always wanna make sure that we have lots of eggs for breakfast and for snacks so I can uh, hard boil them. That's a great snack. More kind of stock up item I got. <laughs> Six cans of these clean peaches just because it recommended them to me. And I was like, yeah, let's get some canned fruit because 
I want to keep that in the closet, although Julian already broke into this one. But generally, I don't really want to serve them right now. I'm just I'm just nervous about the future and what that's going to bring. So I want to have those. And the same thing with sweet corn. I just was like, let's get six of them. I don't, I'm not like following any sort of process to my food storage. I'm just thinking, what do we like? What do we, what would be nice to have extra of? Because I'm not like really, really concerned, but I'm like kind of concerned. I don't know. Maybe I should be more systematic about it, but I'm not. I haven't been. I opened this one, so this will go in the fridge, but I got some unsweetened applesauce, one for now, two for later kind of thing, and this will be going in the pantry as well to stock up, and this is really great to use for things like muffins and stuff too. I also wanted to show you way back in my cabinet that I recently picked up two 10-pound bags of flour from Walmart, as well as two containers of yeast that's to go with my fear of bread shortage. I just, I figured I would share that with you guys because, uh, you know, you want to know the truth, the real thing that's going on here, what I'm actually buying. I did buy that and I did not share that with you. So we have extra flour. We have this flour and I have uh, some up here. Oh, and I bought more quick oats just to have those too. So yeah. Okay. We have another little bit of a stock up panic buy moment. <laughs> I checked out Market Basket and I want to see what they had for some reduced produce and I want to see what they had for reduced meats and I did find some good stuff so I'm excited to share that with you guys. I was able to get I think these are blood oranges for 99 cents. Don't mind the baby bouncing in the background making some fun noises. So 99 cents for a bunch of blood oranges so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with those but they looked yummy. These strawberries which actually look delicious. Yeah I'm in were on clearance for 99, look at those, my nails are rough, man, 99 cents. I've got two of those because Julian is like flying through these these days. I wanted to get some carrots, these were 99 cents and interesting because they're actually organic and I don't, I've never really checked the organic section that much, but at 99 cents, is that the same price as I normally get them? Like one pound for like 98 cents for non-organic. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm like trying to remember. Maybe I usually get two pounds. I'm not sure. I swear I just got a pound for like 98 cents at Walmart. So, hey, check it out. You can get organic ones for 99 cents at my store. I got another 99 cents for these pears. And these pears look awesome, but I'm also wondering if I might just uh, boil, cook them up and make baby, like some baby food out of them up these quick oats for Tommy's oatmeal because in my last haul I mentioned that I was trying to avoid gluten with him and I didn't realize that the oatmeal that I bought was not gluten free so we're going to try some of this out for now. This is not cheap. It's like seven dollars for this versus like two dollars for the other big things of it but you know you gotta do what you gotta do for your kids. Um, same, along the same lines I got some gluten free measure for measure flour and then I got some wheat flour because I, I'm going to start the sourdough. Today's the day. So, and it, I don't know. The recipes I saw said you need to start with wheat. So that's what I got. I got some raw sharp cheddar because I think I got some grass fed cheddar from Aldi a week back. And it was good, but I think I said it was like $4. And this was, I think this was $4 too. I think it was $3.99. But I think the Aldi one was like 4 something. So I did, I still wanted to do like a um, taste test. I also realized this is raw. And the Aldi is grass fed, so I don't know what the difference is. I mean, I do, I know it's raw, <laughs> but I'm just interesting to try and see what's, what's better. I got some more string cheeses because the kids are going through those like crazy. For some reason with Tommy, I'm just like, I'm very, I'm feeling like he needs organic and gluten-free. So that's what I got these. These were four fifty each, which is very pricey. But I'm not buying like the other snacks I'm normally buying. So they're eating more of these. And then chicken. Oh my goodness, I went crazy on chicken. So these chicken packs, griller pack, one split breast with rib and four drumsticks were $1.99 a pound, which I thought was a pretty good price. And so I got two of these packs. And then I got three chickens that are 99 cents a pound. They were on manager special too. 99 cents so it's like three dollars for each of these chickens that one's a little larger so it's a little bit more and then drumsticks again and anti no antibiotics blah, blah blah super fancy chickens 
for a dollar twenty seven a pound. So I was I just was working with some drumsticks for an extreme grocery budget challenge, which probably has posted by now. And I was so impressed that when I used them in my Instant Pot, I got so much meat off of them that I was able to make like chicken pot pie and I did uh, chicken and dumplings and I did a soup and all this stuff just from the, the, the drumsticks. And then I also got this amazing bone broth in the bottom of the Instant Pot. So I am into the drumsticks these days. So I got these cause I was like, these are on sale. That's a decent price. And I'm gonna put all this in the freezer. I got a clearance loaf of wheat organic bread for $3.86, so not an amazing price on bread, but I'm in the mood for some artisan bread, so that was at least uh, somewhat of a deal. I did four pounds of beans. I did two kidney and two black, and these were $1.19, and I know you can get the same brand sometimes at Dollar Tree. So $1.19 now versus $1.25 at Dollar Tree, these are going to be cheaper at the grocery store. So I stocked up a little bit. That's a little fear stock up thing. Trying out some gluten-free crackers again for Tommy. And these were on sale like two for four, which is still not great. Not super cheap, but hopefully they're good. And then they had a coupon, a dollar off. So I think they were $1.50 each, which is okay. Uh, I wanted some tea. I wanted to try some dandelion root and some chamomile. I'm a huge chamomile fan. I got sun butter because I'm going to make some energy balls and some granola bars and I need way more sun butter to do that. This pasta was on sale, still $3 a package, which is so expensive for pasta, but again, it's that that chickpea. You know what? I realized I'm like, is it gluten-free? I thought it was. It is. Okay, gluten-free. We had the penne before and it was delicious and the family didn't even realize that it was gluten-free, so grabbed a bunch of those to make some stuff for the kids and then I want to make my own cold brew because I was buying that like Khalifa or whatever um, which is fine but I think it's going to be cheaper if I make my own cold brew and I have a Nespresso machine that I generally use in this case I want to make cold brew so I need like regular coffee versus the Nespresso pods and then we've got these cauliflower crackers because these are gluten-free. Again, this is uh, for Tommy. It's an option. I actually don't, like, I don't care about the cheese at all. Like, it have regular cheese on it. Cheddar flavor. I think it's vegan. But he seems to like them. So, more snacks. And, yeah, so that's my little stock of pulse. We've got lots of chicken on clearance manager special. Well, manager special bread. Sale items. Stocking up on beans. I think I did pretty good. Oh, and the reduced produce. Always look for that reduced produce. Quite the deal. All right, totally forgot to film an outro on that. So I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, make sure to like this video and let me know down in the comments what you are buying or what you're concerned about or if you're like, you're crazy. I'm not worried at all. <laughs> That's totally fine too. I'm open to it all. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I do grocery hauls, but I also do extreme grocery budget challenges and lots of budget meals. So many budget meals for you, especially in this time of inflation, expensive food, potential shortages. You're gonna to wanna to watch my videos because you can get some great ideas. I do rice and beans and everything hearty and I try and stay pretty healthy. So make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else because I'm posting three times a week and I'll see y'all very soon.